Welcome to Crew Resource Management, Module 1, Situational Awareness. By the end of this module, you should be able to define situational awareness, describe the three phases of situational awareness, identify the key factors that can affect situational awareness, and describe how to improve situational awareness in the workplace. This module consists of four chapters. They are an introduction to situational awareness, the key factors affecting situational awareness, the importance of situational awareness in the workplace, and how to build and maintain high levels of situational awareness. Each chapter will end with a short knowledge check to confirm your learning. Chapter 1. An Introduction to Situational Awareness The concept of situational awareness, or SA for short, originates from the military aviation community in the 1970s. Situational awareness helped explain an individual's ability to process and manage large amounts of information in a complex world and consider how their present situation may develop in the future. Situational awareness can be defined as accurately knowing and understanding what is going on around you and being able to assess how that situation may develop. This is especially important in the complex and dynamic environment of upstream oil and gas where an individual is required to operate situational awareness safely and efficiently as part of a team in a hazardous environment. A high level of situational awareness is demonstrated when a person is able to anticipate how a situation is likely to continue into the immediate future. Situational awareness has three phases – perception, interpretation and projection. Let's find out more about each one. Click on Perception to start. In Phase 1, Perception, an individual is continuously taking in information through their various senses. For example, as you go on shift, you'll be taking in a lot of information. This information will not just be the details of the shift handover process you take part in. You will see, hear, even smell the familiar scene that you're used to at work, which sets the backdrop of your work environment. In Phase 2, the interpretation phase, you will process this sensory information. All the sensory information that your body is perceiving must be interpreted to create a mental picture of the scene around you. Once you make an assessment of a situation, you then look into the future to consider how it may develop. This is Phase 3, Projection. For example, when driving a car, you are continually assessing the environment around you. At a T-junction, you stop and look in both directions to assess the situation. If you see no approaching traffic, you project that it is safe to pull out and make your turn. If you are distracted and don't take time to assess the situation, you may not see the approaching motorcycle. Unfortunately, you project that it is safe to pull out and make the turn in front of the approaching motorcyclist, resulting in an accident. This example of a lack of situational awareness happens often and is the result of complacency. This is also why driving when using a mobile phone is so dangerous. It can negatively impact your situational awareness. For example, you smell something that is unusual. With good situational awareness, you perceive this different information interpret it as unusual, and you form a projection. With enough training or experience, that different smell may alert a crew member to a potentially dangerous situation forming, such as gas on the rig floor. This will allow you to take action before anyone is hurt. It is extremely important to hold good toolbox talks and handovers. 
statistics show that although a handover takes less than 5% of the total shift time, poor handovers account for over 40% of accidents. Good handovers and toolbox talks are essential to build both individual and team situational awareness. Each level of situational awareness depends on the previous lower level. Without perception, it would be impossible to interpret a situation. Without interpretation, it would be impossible to project how a situation may develop. This model describes situational awareness as a linear process to help us understand what happens at each level. In real life, this is an ongoing, continuous process. Chronic unease is a state of mind when an individual constantly wonders if they have taken enough precautions to prevent an incident. This may include constantly asking questions throughout every task, such as, what is the worst thing that can happen? And, what is the most likely thing that could happen? Chronic unease describes an individual's concern with failure, considering the inherent risks of the task, and understanding that small mistakes may be a sign that something needs fixing. Chronic unease is valuable to situational awareness as it fits with the three steps of perception, interpretation and projection. Chapter 2. The Key Factors Affecting Situational Awareness 